Hello everybody, this is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the beautiful nature once again the spontaneous order that surrounds us all today I want to talk about why I am not a political activist why I don't advocate for protests and marches and petitions why I don't advocate for any type of attention or focus on the political predators that claim ownership over our lives I am a teacher I teach what I have learned through my experiences, the, the knowledge that I have gained. I tried to help my fellow man understand himself, empower himself, help him to realize that through voluntary interactions we can make a better life and the history of the human race has proven that to be true. The very fact that we are able to live nearly 8 billion people on earth and how quickly poverty, starvation, malnourishment is decreasing. It's still there but it's decreasing rapidly. That is not the result of central planning of any politician or bureaucrat. That's the result of voluntary interactions, the imagination and creativity of the human mind to transform the limited scarce resources at our disposal to more and more efficient uses. This is what free market capitalism is to me and this is why I shudder when I hear people going off to protest to march against some politician <clears throat> some law some regulation some new tax It's not about the particular specific detail of government, of what action it does. It's about what is the fundamental philosophy that underlies that institution. And it is that philosophy that I am in constant protest against. And in order to do that, I do not need to march in the streets or carry a sign or make a speech at the at the steps of the White House or City Hall or anywhere to try to incite the attention of political predators and sociopaths no we can better improve the world through this magnificent network that we call the internet it has really done wonders to lift up humanity out of the dark ages. It is the Gutenberg, Gutenberg press of today. The proliferation of ideas, of concepts over the internet will itself bring about the eradication of this idea of statism, the belief in authority. Truth cannot be suppressed when in the midst of the free market of ideas. The very fact that the internet is not, in most areas of the world, controlled or regulated is a magnificent thing. Some people say, well, 
it's not good because there's too many options. <laughs> what would you rather have? <laughs> there is an idea called Gresham's Law in economics whereby bad money drives out good money in the sense that for example the US dollar is losing value constantly through quantitative easing currency creation the mandrake mechanism and so when when the coins used to be 90% silver and they removed the silver content what happened you quickly saw them eliminated from circulation not because the state was eliminating it but because people were eliminating it because they knew that it had value much greater than face value so under statism Gresham law occurs now under the free market it would be reverse Gresham's law in the sense that in the internet good ideas good quality content superb quality content always rises to the top people recognize and understand quality when they see it the truth cannot be hidden it can only be hidden when institutions of power attempt to suppress it and control it the last thing that politicians want is the spread of ideas in the words of V from V for Vendetta ideas are bulletproof we must revere the ideas not the people if a person cannot explain an idea well enough or simply they cannot they do not understand it well enough in the words of Albert Einstein so the power of an idea or its understanding should not be relegated to one person it should be dispersed throughout nobody should have a monopoly on ideas and that is exactly what the state attempts to do through the education system, through intellectual property, through its mechanisms of control and domination. When ideas are able to be spread freely amongst peaceful individuals, wonders result. So I don't think protests or marches or signing petitions can do anything to affect meaningful change you affect meaningful change by speaking your truth by talking to your fellow human beings by reasoning by having civilized debates I don't care what you believe write an article make a video put it out there in the marketplace of ideas and try to defend it and we will see how it fares no violence is necessary no protest is necessary when a person says we need to employ violence to solve this problem they're already wrong so there is there is no way that I would support any protest any march any signing of a petition, any assigning of legitimacy to our rulers. They have no legitimacy. They are merely control freaks attempting to gain your approval.
do not give it to them. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy nature.